welcome to another edition of Aquarium Ed Talks. My name is Katie and I'm an educator here at the North Carolina Aquarium on Roanoke Island and today I'm going to be talking to you about shark senses. So we all have five senses that we know about as a human that we use in our day-to-day -day lives and we're going to compare those five senses to those of a shark and see if a shark maybe has any extra senses that they use to help them survive in their environment. First, let's talk about sight. Sight is a big sense that we use every single day um, to tell us a lot of information about the world. Sharks have eyes, obviously, and they also use their sense of sight to help them learn information about their world. But if you've ever been swimming, you might notice that the water is not always super clear like air could be or even on a foggy day how hard it can be for you to see very far away so depending on the water and what's in the water around the shark can make it harder for them to see but for most sharks they can see about 50 to 75 feet in front of them most sharks their eyes are about as good as human eyesight is usually now let's talk about our nose that is a sense that we use every day. Uh, we take in smells so that we can tell about the world around us, maybe what's for dessert or that the lawn just got mowed. Sharks also use their sense of smell. Uh, they are going to use that to smell the world around them. They can smell things in the water that let them know a prey item might be near or that there is some food they could scavenge. They're able to smell different things in the water just like we can in the air. So they use chemoreceptors in their nostrils that are going to pick up those scent particles in the water and they can smell about a third of a mile away from their body. Hearing. Now sharks don't have external ears like we do. We call this pinna, this floppy stuff over here. And we can usually hear pretty well and that tells us a lot about what's going on around us. It's how we communicate with each other. Sharks can use their sense of hearing again to either hunt because they are predators or to escape predators themselves. They use that sense of hearing and most sharks can hear about a mile away. Now, one of my favorite senses is that sense of taste. You use it to taste the food around you. It helps you know what you like or don't like. Same thing with sharks. They're going to use their sense of taste. It can let them know maybe something isn't what they want to eat because it's not good for them or it doesn't taste good. So people talk about shark attacks a lot, right, on humans. Humans are not on a shark's menu. We are not what they prefer to eat. Uh, number one, we're not fatty enough. Sharks need to eat things that have lots of blubber or fat inside their bodies that help sustain the shark and give it enough energy for all its day-to-day -day activities. So a shark, when it attacks a human, it's usually a mistake because that shark thinks that you're acting like their food. You wear something shiny that makes you look like a fish scale or you might smell like their food if you go into the water with say bait fish or you walk around with a spear with a fish on it when you go out fishing. Usually the shark is mistaken and might think your food but once they get that first bite, ew, that's not what I want to eat, they let you go and swim away. So they're using that sense of taste to tell them this is what I want for dinner. All right, and how about touch? We use our sense of touch all the time to handle things, to feel textures, rough or smooth. Um, sharks obviously can feel things that touch their bodies, but they also have a really cool thing on the side of their body. You might see this very faint line. This is called a lateral line, and you can see it on most fish. And that line is what's going to help them pick up sense of touch from the uh, water around them, the water movements. So if you sit in water, you can feel the water move around you, but this is extra sensitive and helps them feel the other fish around them. This is how fish can school together and know where the other fish with them are going so that they all stay together. Sharks can feel other fish around them, maybe a cleaner fish that's sucking on their back might swim up to them, or it could help them find prey if they're chasing, say, another fish. All right. Those are the five senses that humans have. Sharks also have. They might use them a little bit differently, but they also have one more really special sense that we don't have, and that's called ampullae of Lorenzini. And the ampullae of Lorenzini are usually around the shark's snout. They'll get some down the side of their face here, and they look like little black dots. And they are pores that are filled with a jelly-like substance that actually picks up electrical signals. 
So when you move your muscles or your heart beats, your body is giving off energy. And that energy is in the form of electricity or heat. And the shark can pick up the electricity from fish breathing with their gills, from fish swimming around. And if a fish is in distress, it might not act normally. These ampullae of Lorenzini can help give the shark some hints that this fish, there's something wrong with it. So sharks tend to prefer the fish that are sick, injured, dying. There's something wrong with them. So if you like seafood or you've ever eaten seafood, you should thank a shark because sharks are going to take care of anything that's going to make that fish population unhealthy. They're gonna take out any fish that are gonna spread an illness, just like we might give a cold to somebody else because we were in contact with their germs. The sharks take out the fish before they can spread a virus or a disease to their other fish in their schools and keep those populations healthy, which helps the ocean ecosystem and helps anyone who's eating seafood because it makes sure there's seafood to have. I want to thank you for joining us for our Ed Talks, and we'll see you again real soon. <laughs>